Good morning, Marcus Conti, Sanitation Enforcement Agent, City of New York, fighting out corruption, fighting, 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 keep fighting, 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 fighting. Good morning. So, um, I want to, uh, today I want to, I, I guess just recap, I found some other stuff I want to talk about. Uh, here's a, um, so, so is, is, is discrimination against employees for failure to meet quotas illegal? Yes. Yes, it's illegal. Now, what I what I want to read, uh, what I want to uh, present today is uh, this might be clumsy because again, I'm I'm not. This is not my. I'm going, I'm steering out of my lane a little bit right here. But <clears throat> uh, New York State. Uh, I'm just going to read it. I'm going to read it and then I'm going to put it. I'll put the link down below and you could read the law too. So it it because of what it for me this this is for you. Okay, for you know as I've always said, this is not about me. This is not. There's a, there's a part of it that's about me, but this is about, it's about, it's about labor, labor law. It's about equal rights. It's about, you know, employment, employee rights and the rights to not be abused in the workplace. And, and, <clears throat> you know, for me, it's a study in trying to, you know, you see in the, on a political level, at the high level, you see this mass corruption, but you, you ask yourself, well, how does it stay in place? And that's what this that's what this is all about. It is it is a lawsuit. I was discriminated against. I was retaliated against for speaking up about it. And that's part of the corruption, but so anyway, so so the quota. The reason why I was fired in part was because of exposing the quota in a protected uh uh proceeding, in an EEO proceeding, right? I'm attacked in the boardroom. I'm, I'm being discriminated against. I'm being targeted in a class. I don't know what's going on, so I, I reach out to EEO, and uh, and 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 in that process, I, I, I reveal to them, the the existence of an illegal quota, the practice, the in practice of an illegal quota, right? And so there's you know, and then and then through this process, what happens? We find we find uh, from out of nowhere, you know, Mr. Hazel. I mean, that that recording is 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 devastating. It's de it's it's such inescapable, solid evidence of discrimination f against employees for failing to meet certain ticket quotas. This is this is that that his his example is textbook. With me, it wasn't the case. My mine was for exposing that sort of corruption, right? I was exposing it. That's what I've always said to you guys that I went to bat for you guys, right? <laughs> That's what I did. I went to bat for you guys. I said, look, the, you know, yeah, I do the quota. There's a quota, and I do it. But but you know, they, they, they're dragging people through the mud. So let's let's look at the law. <clears throat> this is the law. And again, I'm going to put the link down below. You could read it. Please read it. Read it. This is about education too. When you're educated and you know the law and you know the rules and you know, you know, you you know you know the thing. You don't have to come on to, to, to the you know Conti's YouTube channel and figure it out. So this is from uh, Justia. Justia.com. It's a legal. It's a it's a legal site, right? And it's not hard to read. Right? I'm going to read it, and we're going to read it together. 2013 New York Consolidated Laws, Labor Law, Article 7, right? And there's a there's a, a range between 200 and 219C. General provisions. The one we're going to look at is 215A, right? Discrimination against employees for fail, failure to meet certain ticket quotas, right? This is what it says. Discrimination against employees for failure to meet certain ticket quotas. One, no employer or his or her duly authorized agent shall transfer or in any other manner penalize or threaten expressly or impliedly an employee as to his or her employment in a manner including but not limited to a reassignment, a rescheduling a scheduling change, an adverse evaluation, a constructive dismissal, the denial of promotion, or the denial of, of overtime, based in whole or in part on such employee's failure to meet a quota, established by his or her employer, or his or her duly authorized agents. 
right? A, take, it's, we only need to look at A. There's A, B, and C, but only A applies to, to, to uh, people who write tickets, SEA, right? Tickets are summed, A, of A. Tickets or summonses issued within a specific period of time for violations of provisions of law for which a ticket or summons is authorized by any general, special, or local law. And B applies to arrests. We don't make arrests. And C, stopping of individuals suspected of criminal activity. We don't do that either. So really it's 215A part A. And that's the whole thing. It's 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 the first the first part of it. I'm gonna put the I'll put the text down there too. All right, so so does this apply to us? Of course it applies to us. There's a ten ticket quota, right? There's a ten ticket quota, and if you don't do it, what do you get? The punishment is foot patrol. The punishment is 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 you get moved to the Bronx and you get switched, you know, from Manhattan to the Bronx, from Queens to Brooklyn, right? These are all whole or in part, right? You get you get okay, so so right, so we know that the quota exists. There's no doubt about it. Now we know for certain that. Evidence, evidence, evidence with Hazel's recording. That is evidence. That is direct evidence. Mr. Hazel doesn't have to, you don't need Mr. Hazel's uh, uh, testimony in court. Oh, he has to testify. No, that's him on the recording. That's him on the recording, right? <laughs> so you have, you have direct evidence. That is direct evidence of, of, the, of, the, of, a, of the use of punitive measures. You're going to get fired if you don't do this. Right, that is a that is a direct threat. Right, right. With me, it's indirect. With me, they used they used the, the fake evaluations and other things. But again, my 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 situation is different because I actually did the the quota. Now, the the other direct evidence, former supervisors, people that think that they're still management. I I did a video telling you that Libra is just a, it's just a front, it's a smoke screen, it's a it's controlled opposition. It's called union breaking. They they broke your union, right? So get that get the 206 book. That's the, that's the solid evidence. That's the quantitative documented evidence of the ongoing quota, right? Because it has a name, it has a number, it has the date, it has it it has the the uh, why are you keeping a, a calculation of 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 tickets if it doesn't matter okay you're keeping it because that's that's the whole system it's a whole system based on an illegal quota so now you know the law i'm gonna keep this short i don't want you i don't want to keep you guys long so that that is the law read it okay we know that it's called discrimination right it's discrimination against employees for failure to meet certain ticket quotas right this this is absolutely a ticket quota it's 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 10 tickets a day there is the 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 punitive if you remember what the the, the fancy word jerky burke used is there's nothing punitive about foot patrol no it is punitive it's punitive it's punishment right so now you have the law you you now you now see see if that look why did they fire me because i'm 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 I know these things, right? Like I, I'm not. I didn't know this. Honestly, this came from you. This came from the crowdsource, right? Someone sends me this, and I look at it and I say, yeah, yeah, I know it. But, but, but now we, 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 you know, we're looking at the the very the very nuts and bolts of this. And when you show up in court, if you should, I mean, for Mr. Hazel, this is easy, right? All you do is you have your recording and you walk down a. 60 Center Street, and you file a case. You don't need a lawyer. You can do it, do it yourself. You walk into the self-help area of the court, and you and you just file a case yourself. It's like thirty-five dollars. If you don't have money, then you, you 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 apply for poor person. So anybody can do these things, right? Don't go to Liba. Don't go to Liba. Don't go to these to these unions. That's controlled opposition. They'll throw you under the bus. Don't use their lawyers. Don't use their lawyers. Don't use their lawyers. That's what they try to do. They try to get you to use their lawyers. That's controlled opposition too. Okay? Have a nice day.